is Haley. So today I am filming a haul. And before you click off this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would mean a lot to me, and it mean the world to me. So um, today I'm doing my New York City haul. Um, I will be wearing like a different outfit because there's going to be another part in this video, and it won't be till after because. Um, we're going back in the city tomorrow to go do a little bit more shopping and um, go see Wicked the Broadway show. So that is fun. Um, so yeah, and excuse the no makeup on. I know I look ugly, but um, it's because I was just at the beach and I got like really, really burnt. And that's why I'm wearing like this because I know I wear this dress a lot in my videos. But I'm like so burnt that this is like the only thing that I see making me comfortable right now um, because your girl is just so pasty that SPF 50 applying it every half hour still doesn't work and still burns like you guys don't even know like my legs are worse but I'm not gonna do that because I have to edit it and stuff but yeah so let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how to not um, burn when you put on sunscreen every half hour and it's SPF 50 and do you know any other brands that are really good for helping people like me or what so yeah enough with the um complaining about my burn and my ugliness because I have no makeup on let's just get started and my hair is kind of messy from the beach but it's okay let's just get started with the video so um let's see the first place that I went to is Lush. And I didn't get too much here because I wanted to save my money, but and I didn't know because I know I was going to go to more expensive stores, so I didn't know if I would have enough money for everything that I wanted from the other stores. So I wanted to spend as little as possible, but that's why we're going to. So I have money left over, so um, I am going to buy some more stuff at Lush and other places. And um, I wanted to save my money for like a t-shirt or something at the Broadway show. Because we're going to see what good. So the first thing I got is, um, I forget what this one is. I want to say intergalactic. I could be wrong. But it's just the rainbowish one. Um, so yeah. Then I got um, two other bath bombs. I got... Sex bomb, and I got I think this is called Twilight or something. So I got that, and then I got a, the small one so I could try this out of the cup of coffee face mask. Um, I just wanted to try this out, so that's why I got the small one just in case it does something to my skin. And then I also got a body wash in. Dirty Spring Wash, which smells so good. So I really am glad that I got these purchases. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that. Then the next place I went to is Barney Melville. And I got this like plain like striped t-shirt because I've been wanting one that's like smaller and that's like this. For the longest time, I just never got it. So I'm like, hey, it's right here, right now. So let's just buy it. Then the next thing that I got was a red crop top. Um, I got this mainly because I'm going away for 4th of July. And I don't have anything to wear, really, for 4th of July. Um, because, like, everything, every year, it's, like, hard for me to find. So I bought this because I'm like, this is perfect for 4th of July. Because then I could just wear blue shorts and then white converse like so perfect fourth of july outfit and then i got um this like striped uh no sleeve like like goes like this type thing um shirt it's long sleeve and striped and i could totally see this was like brown shorts for the summer i mean not brown shorts black shorts sorry i'm like exhausted because we didn't get home from new york city last night till like 12 a.m. so I'm really tired then I got this light pink um, sweatshirt which is mainly I got it because of the material if you could see this like look at this like it's honestly so amazing in my state it's really cold in the winter so 
head. Then I just got this hot pink crew neck, which I've been wanting a hot pink like crew neck sweatshirt and for like ever now, and I finally got it. So yeah, most of these things you're gonna think that are fall, but honestly, the city didn't have a lot of summer clothes. I mean, they did, but like, like you know me, I'm really modest and stuff, so like, it was hard to find modest things. So like, if they did have summer clothes, then they were like, way too like, um, scandalous for me, I should say. like. They would have like their tops were like this or they were showing too much or the dresses were too short or whatever. So that's why I didn't buy so much summer clothes, but it's okay. Cause I did get a lot of cute things and I'm going shopping in like a couple weeks anyway because I have to shop for my church camp trip. Um, like I said, you might, you probably won't get videos for that. And I'm sorry that week. So I'm gonna try to do like upload every day the week before because I won't be able to bring my laptop there and I'll have no other way to upload videos. So next for the big spending is Topshop. And I got um, these uh, high-waisted mom jeans that are like honestly like so cute and I just love them. Then I got this jean skirt with like this rosy detailing, or like flowery detailing, which is like super cute. So yeah, it's just like light blue and I love it. Then I got this, let's see. Sorry, like all this is flowers, but I just love Top Shop's oh. Then I just got this like overall black denim dress with these like roses on it, which is really pretty. So I'm glad I got it. Um, let's see. Then I got, I wanted to get some jeans with some roses on, but they didn't have a size zero in them. So I couldn't. Um, then I got this white shirt with flowers. You see the theme here was like flowers, everything. So. Yeah, it just looks like this, and yeah. And then I got this army jacket. Which, like, this is a must. I like I was saying, I really jacket. wanted an army jacket because everywhere around here, they have them, but they're not like the muted type of army that I like. They have like brownish, and it looks too military for me. And then the last thing I got from Topshop was this shirt that looks like this. And it's really cute. So yeah. Very fashionable clothing. I might have to put a filter on this video because I know I look kind of nasty, but I'm sorry. I needed to get this done because I knew these bags weren't going to be all nice and neat. I got home. And um, next thing, place I went to was Bloomingdale slash Chanel. Um, we went to the Chanel store and they didn't sell like the makeup part, so I had to go to Bloomingdale's and find the makeup. But I got one thing because you guys know I've been wanting this for like ever now, and it's the Soleil Tan Day Chanel um, Cream Bronzer. It's like really big. Like, sorry, I forgot to turn off my Snapchat. Like, so this is gonna last me forever. Like, legit, like forever. Like, I'm like so happy about this. You guys don't even know. Now let me try to put it back on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just keep it like that so it's save time. And then I went to um, Mac. I only got one thing because, again, there's things that I wanted. Um, from stores that I don't have around me, so I'm like, well, I'm only gonna get one thing from Mac and Sephora because, like, I could get Mac and Sephora anytime because I have a Mac and Sephora. But you know, you gotta at least get something in New York City. So I just got their burgundy um, eyeshadow palette, which is really, really pretty because you guys know how much I love the other one that I have. So I could feel like these colors are gonna be really nice on me. Um, Especially for summer, like I mean fall. I mean you could use some of these for fall. I mean summer, 
but not all of them. So I'm really excited to use this. Um, and then I went to the cookie dough shop, which I still have it. It's dough cookie dough. Um, I have it downstairs, but I'm not gonna get that because that's just food and it needs to be stay it needs to stay in the fridge, so it's cool. So yeah. Um, then I went to Sephora and I just got one thing again. I got, but I got something that is, they're not sold in my Sephora. And I wanted to go crazy in this because this Sephora had every brand that I don't have because I just have a small JCPenney Sephora. But again, I need clothes and I can get makeup anytime and I could order this stuff online and like this makeup online and clothes are like, you know, always sell out and change so, you know, clothing was more important to me and two, like I said, I can always, we're going back in the city so I still have a little bit of money left over. So I just got the Bobbi Brown Bronze Shimmer Brick, which I got a shimmer brick the last time I was in New York City, which was two years ago, and I absolutely loved it, so I had to get myself another one. I was bummed because they were all sold out of the Nicole Guru um, Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia, and they were all sold out of the Becca, I forget her name, Glow uh, Highlighter Palette. It's like the Jaclyn Hill one, but it's not. It's uh, literally Chris something. I forget. She's Kim Kardashian's friend. So yeah. And then next is my favorite, favorite purchase of all time, which is my Tiffany's. Yeah, my Tiffany. I got a necklace, and I'm not going to open it up. Yeah, I'm not going to open it up. I'll try to insert a picture if I know how, um, because the lady had me try it on before she packaged it up. It's so beautiful, and I'm so thankful for this. Um, my grandma bought this for me, and I'm just like so happy because I'm so totally in the whole. I love Audrey Hepburn. I admire her. She's one of my favorite actresses, and um, I love that I got to go to like breakfast at Tiffany's and stuff, you know, from Tiffany and Co. Because of breakfast and Tiffany, and I actually bought something. I've been dreaming of getting something from Tiffany since I was a little girl, and I finally got it. So. I'm so thankful for my grandma, I love her so much, and I love all that she does for me, and I'm just honestly so thankful to have my, oh my gosh, sorry guys, um, I'm just honestly so thankful to have my grandma in my life, um, my grandma is just a blessing, and I love her to death, um, she's just the one from Connecticut, so, yeah. And then, my last place in New York City was... Urban Outfitters, you guys know I love Urban Outfitters. They surprisingly didn't have that much. Um, again, if they did, it was like too showy for me. And it's just like a lot of the stuff was too similar um, to what I got. And I'm sorry, my phone keeps on dinging off. I didn't hear, I didn't think my phone would ding off. But I just got these um, high waisted mom jeans in a size zero, and they just look like this light blue. I like the light blue. I like having a dark pair and a light pair. And then I just got this, um, like, hunter green sweater, I guess. Looks like this. And then I just got this, um, striped romper, which also looks like this. Um, yeah, Urban Outfitters didn't have so much, and if they did, it was, like, too showy. And, like, the Urban Outfitters was, like, crowded. And it also was like messy, and when stores are messy, it unattracts me from um, wanting to um, shop there. So, yeah. And then, honestly, today I went to Rhode Island, and my grandma got me this sweatshirt. We also went to the Westport Beach, but that one wasn't as nice and didn't have like any like souvenir type stuff. So. Yeah, I just got the sweatshirt and it says Rhode Island Beach. So yeah. Okay, um, I'm not gonna say bye because I will be getting something from Wicked and I think I might be getting a couple other things in the city. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video and hey let's guys, go so on to the I know it's not showing me right now, but I just wanna show you the last thing I got from my New York City purchases. Um, I went to Wicked last night and I got this tote bag that came with my stuff. And I got, by the way, it was amazing. And I got this Wicked program book. And then 
then I got this wicked cup. And then I got this wicked shirt. It says wicked. And then it has like all the songs. So it was really awesome and I had a good time. And I do recommend if you're in New York City to see this show. It's a really good show. I'm going to turn this on me. It's a really good show. Totally loved it. Um, and I also got to sing at a diner yesterday. Um, well, not sing. Like, the worker at um, Ellen Stardust Diner. If you guys ever been to New York City, that's what it's called. And um, she was singing um, Annie um, tomorrow. And she was walking towards me. And as she was walking towards me, um, she put the mic up to me and you guys know how much I love singing she put the mic up to me she was singing and then we both sang a little line together and then we finished out the song she's like wow you're really amazing like you could tell your voice has been trained you have such amazing voice etc and then we took a picture together so hopefully I can insert that in the picture and everybody like clapped for all all night like like both of us I meant to say I'm so tired we didn't get home till like 1 a.m. and they clapped for both of us and they're whistling and stuff and the like the DJ's like wow you're that little girl's amazing good good duo or whatever they said but yeah so that was my little story um, I had an amazing time I can't thank my aunt my uncle and my grandma enough for doing this all all this stuff for me anyways guys I have to finish packing I love you guys so much and thanks for watching guys bye